What about those so during the pandemic? How uh, how did you handle that? I'm sure that was challenging. It was challenging um, in the sense that my biggest challenge was getting the regular time with my customers. So for my larger customers, what I know, what I would normally do is I'd have office hours. So for an hour or two every Wednesday, I'd go to visit that customer. We'd set up shop. We're at their at their location and talking walking around the floor and there are people come by and they would give us a bet they give us a badge so we can come and go as we need to mm-hmm. um that didn't happen anymore so having that face-to-face interaction sales is so uh so important and when that went away we had to look for other things to do um so what i did is i set up you know virtual um, vir- virtual office hours. So I told, you know, I would open up a line for them. I'd send them all, them all in, but I'd open up a line and it'd be open between the hours of, you know, 11, 12, whatever it might be work for them once a week. And it was free for them. Anybody just stop by, got, got any questions about our products or whatnot? Want, want to talk about the sharks? We're here. Uh, and, you know, uh, we'd have you know, random customers um, that would drop by and just check in and say hello and talk. And, but I found over time that that tapered off again. It started off strong in the beginning, and we got a lot of participation, but eventually it, it, it tapered off after about four to six months. I think people were just getting burnt out from Zoom, all, just all together, online conferencing all together. Um, and so at that point, you know, fortunately, COVID was kind of starting to subside a little bit, and we're able to start doing some you know, lunches and starting to slowly pick some of that stuff up again. Um, but COVID was definitely a, strugg- a struggle getting that FaceTime with customers, and that is yeah. so important just getting that interaction, that, that casual interaction with customers. 